Okay, here we go, folks. Um, okay, today we're going to kind of move up to section 10.5, which is um, talking about chords and um, and the angles that chords form. So what you got to you got to do is you got a picture. Of, we're going to draw this on GeoGebra today. You got to picture a circle with two chords that are intersecting inside the circle. Okay, that's what we're going to draw. Okay, so here we go. Let's click up here. Um, so we're going to go, um, I don't want my axis. I don't want my grid. Okay. And then I'm going to get rid of this on the bottom too. Okay. It's not letting me get rid of that. So this is going to give me some grief. Yeah. So um, that's gonna give me grief because I need more room. Anyway, we're just gonna we're just gonna go after it. Okay, so are you ready? Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw a circle. So use my circle icon. Okay, let's do a circle through center point. Um, and we'll just come over here and drag. Oh, hold on. That didn't work for me like I wanted it to. This this app's giving me grief. Okay, um, so I'm going to just go something like this. Let's just get a, a circle that's big enough where we can play around with it too small. Now what you can do is you can go control Z to undo what you just did, or we've got these buttons up here. That'll do undo. Okay, if I didn't like that, I can just redraw another one. Okay. And I liked mine. I should have left it, but I'm trying to demonstrate. Okay. So now what we want is, is we're going to draw chords. So we need to pick more points that are on my circle. Okay. So I come up here to point, but it's going to give us some option. I want points on an object. Okay. So I need um, three more points. Just go blink, blink, blink. It does not matter where you place those points. I'll try and spread them out just a little bit though. Okay. Um, so. <clears throat> Waiting for everybody to catch you. Are you with me? So now what we're going to do is we're going to measure central angles. Okay. This is where we need to understand clockwise, counterclockwise. The way the hands of a clock go, um, uh, that's clockwise, counterclockwise. Everything in mathematics is measured counterclockwise. So for example, I'm not going to draw the radius right now, but if I had this radius AB and the radius AC, if I would think about measuring the angle going from radius AB to AC, that is going to be positive. That's going to be the, the area we want. We always want our angles to be shown. We want to pick our points, so we're going counterclockwise. So why is this important? Go up here, click on measure angle. Okay, just measure angle. And then, so what I want to do is I want to click point, vertex, point, and I need to go clockwise or counterclockwise. So for me, I'm going to go dink, dink, dink. And you'll see that that gave me that angle, 83.82. Okay, if yours came up with the opposite way around, well, you didn't do it counterclockwise. So you need to undo and then do it the other way. Okay, so now we're going to do the other one. So look at mine. Should I go D-A-E or should I go E-A-D? D-A-E because I want to sweep it counterclockwise. So now I'm going to go D-A-E. Okay, so now I've got these two angles that are hovering over top of each one. They're uh, over top the other. So let's let's change that. If I just click my arrow, I can click on that and I can drag my alphas over here and my betas over here. It's just easier to see. Okay. So now remember that this is not just giving us the central angle, but this 83.82 is also the measure of arc BC. Okay. Remember, central angle, arcs, arc measures, they're the same. Okay. So, 
So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you something that I haven't shown you before. Come to this A equals two uh, button. If you notice down here, it says text. Now this is gonna get a little bit complex. So pay close attention. So if I go, <clears throat> we can click anywhere. I'm gonna click over to the side here because I'm gonna have it write some text. Okay, click there. And I need, um, I need to click this LaTeX formula. Okay, and then <clears throat> now I'm gonna go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna go like this, arc measures are, and now I need to drag in from an advanced menu, angle alpha, angle beta. So go click advanced. And if I go, um, yeah, if I click this GeoGebra icon right here, it'll give me um, my options I can pick. I want my alpha, and then I'm gonna go and beta. The reason why I'm not just typing in the angle measures that it gave me, because I wanna set this up so as I drag these points, it'll change what's in my text box for, box for me, okay? So now we can just go, um, okay, now this is gonna, there we go, okay. <clears throat> and you should have my arc measures over there. Okay, and mine, due to this application, kind of got drug over to the side. So I'm fixing mine. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now, now we need to construct our chords. Okay, come up here to your line option. You guys are actually doing very well following along, probably because I'm having to move so slow. You guys are keeping up with me quite well. Um, let's do a segment, and we're going to build our two chords. <clears throat> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to try and figure something out here. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to clean up my drawing. If you guys want to do that, you can. Click on something, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm just going to get rid of show. For the others, I got rid of show object. So my center of my circle, I got rid of, I just unclicked show object. These, if you want, I can cl uh, click um, unclick show label. You don't have to do any of that, but I just think it's going to be make it a little bit nicer <clears throat> to take a look at, because <clears throat> otherwise it's going to get a little bit confusing. Okay. So now you can see that if I take this, if I click any of my other points, I can drag them around and my arc measures should change. Okay. <clears throat> and if I drag point B, I can impact the size of my circle because that's what defined my radius was point B, okay? So it doesn't really matter, okay? <clears throat> so what we're investigating today is this, and I think it's going to be a pretty straightforward investigation after we get there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, how does this angle here formed by my chords relate to my arc measures. So, well, we need a point. We need a point at this intersection. So I click point at intersection. Boom. Okay. <clears throat> and then what I want to do is I want to measure that angle between my chords. And I've already talked about how to do that. <clears throat> and that gives me, I think that's lambda, um, 61.5. I'll have to double check that sometime. And then let's do another text box. <clears throat> 